Hello friend, welcome to my channel 5 Minute Pediatric. A few days back I have posted question on Facebook. Uh, the question was related to this picture. So you have to identify this condition. So the child is having permanent forehead depressed, nasal breeze, uh, having conical shift in Caesar, and uh, there is sparse uh, scarf hair and the history of recurrent fever. And uh, the fever was difficult to control. So what is the diagnosis? This question is important for OSCE examination and need PG also. So the diagnosis is hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia. So you have to know some important point regarding this condition that because the question are frequently asked. So the trial for this condition we have, there is partial or complete absence of uh, sweat gland. And there is uh, anomalous dentation and there is Hypotrichosis. These trials you have to remember. One is related to teeth, one is related to um, hair, and one related to sweat gland. So, uh, four recognized types. So, first, HED1, which is X linked and is most common. So, you have to remember, remember this condition. So, what are the clinical features? So, so the clinical feature related to uh, absence of sweat glands. First of all, so the child is uh, not able to produce the sweat. As a result of which, the skin is dry, wrinkled, and hypopigmented. In newborn baby, you may get extensive skin peeling. And uh, ophthalmic and ENT problem are due to decreased production of uh, saliva and tears. Uh, there is a recurrent episode of fever, high grade fever, in the warm environment and uh, very difficult to control. So I'm um, now related to there is hypodensia or anodensia with widely spaced conical teeth, which is a consistent feature of this condition. It has typical facial characteristic uh, already described. The child is having frontal bossing. There is recessed columella. Okay. There is a long prominent uh, low low set ear. Now the related to hair. So the child is having. Uh, uh, very sparse scalp hair, which is fine and light pigmented. If you go uh, uh, and look for the overall hair, there is, it is also sparse. Uh, sexual development is usually normal. So the common uh, complication uh, like GRD and the child is usually failure to thrive. So how we can diagnose? So a star iodine test, Palmer or scalp biopsy. So question is frequently asked related to a scalp biopsy, which is more sensitive and 100% uh, specific uh, to this condition. So how we can treat this condition? Uh, we have to protect the child from high ambient, ambient temperature. We have to take care of dental for, uh, for cosmetic reason. We have to give artificial tear and big for baldness. Hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly like, subscribe, and follow my channel. Thanks, thanks for watching.